Good morning. My name is Royal Ferris. It is Thursday morning, August the 18th. I'm on my back porch on a kind of cool morning on um, in Hearst, Texas. It's a little bit before sunrise. I am very much enjoying my first cup of coffee and I am doing my morning devotional now and I hope you're here to do it with me because uh, I love doing this with you and for me it's best to do it first thing in the morning it makes the rest of my day better I know we can't all do that so we have a video here so you can do this with me later on today but I also pray the Bible because it gets me connected with God and understanding God let me let me ask you a question let me start off with a question how often in your life or has it happened very often that people that you trusted to be there for you to encourage you to lift you up on a bad day and a bad life maybe even your marriage is struggling and all of a sudden your friend turns against you or takes your husband or your spouse's side uh, you know that happens doesn't it that happens and and we unfriend those people we dump those people we talk bad about those people but but look they're people and we haven't always been the best friends that we're supposed to be either you know sometimes you know, sometimes I just care about what's going on with me, just like you do and your friends do. So that's what today's about. We, we talked yesterday about whether we care or not about what people think about us, but, but now we need to think about what we think about other people. <laughs> Did that make sense? So I'm in Psalm 118 today, verse 8, Psalm 18, verse 8. Let me start off with the Lord's Prayer so that it'll prepare our hearts that we can hear what God would have us to say in this verse, which might be a tough verse for some of y'all. Our Father in heaven, may we keep your name holy and above every other name today. May we focus on your spirit and your what you want us to do. May we, uh, will you give us what we need spiritually, physically, and emotionally to be who you want us to be. And Father God, would you forgive me of my sins and point out the sins that I'm doing that I don't even realize so I can ask forgiveness for those. May I forgive those who hurt me instantly. And Father God, would you protect me from the temptations today to do bad and from the influences that are negative in my life. And God, I, we are going to give you glory today. We're going to give you glory for the good and the bad because we know you want to make it all good to make us better than who we are today. Thank you in Jesus' name, amen. So, how do you do with people when they let you down? Here we go, let's look at Psalm 118.8. It is better to take refuge in the Lord. Go to the Lord for help. Go to the Lord for comfort. Go to the Lord for encouragement. Go to the Lord for instruction, for counsel sometimes for discipline uh, go to the Lord as father it is better to run to the Lord let's say that take refuge run to the Lord when you need help than it is to trust in people oh now I'll tell you it's a bonus when people can help you it's a bonus when they're to encourage you although you may have some people in your life that may encourage you even when you they need to tell you to stop it <laughs> you're killing yourself stop it and sometimes that's the best thing that a friend can say but here's the deal you can't always trust in people here's a question can they trust in you are you being the person that you're mad about them for being uh, the only person you can really trust is God it's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It's better to run to God than it is to run to people. Now, it's a bonus, like I said, when people help you, but mm. here's my prayer for today. We need to prepare ourselves to be who we need to be, whether people are or not, and then we go to God for help. So let me pray this for us. Here's our prayer today for this verse. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the people you put in our lives who love us, Thank you, Lord, for the people you put in our lives who love us. We know they can't always love like you do. May we put our trust in you and your love so we can love them even when they are unable to meet my needs. That's how you can tell if you really love somebody or if you're really confident in yourself or, or when you really have trust in God is when you can love other people when they don't love you. 
That's my prayer for me today. That's my prayer for us today. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday. I know there's people in your life that probably need to hear this. Uh, would you mind sharing it with them? Sharing it on your Facebook page or YouTube page? or I post this at royalfairs.com on Life Connection Church Facebook page and on uh, my YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Uh, I look forward to responding to your comments as well. Uh, God bless you. It's Thursday, and I will see you on Friday if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. I love that saying.